What's up everybody, it's Mr. Harris and I'm making math cool again. Today we're going to be talking about ratios and proportional relationships. Now this particular example is on the 7th grade level and we're going to just show you one of the things that they need to know or the students need to know about ratios and proportional relationships at the 7th grade level. So let's go ahead and get into this example. It says the label on a one and a half pound bag of grass seed states that it will cover an area of 375 square feet. Based upon this information, how many square feet will one pound of grass seed cover? So we need to write this information as a ratio, okay? So for one and a half pounds of grass seed, we're going to say one and a half, and I'm going to do LBS for pounds, all right? And that covers 375 square feet, so we'll put the feet squared. Now, this is a ratio, okay? We need to basically take this ratio and break it down because it wants us to know how many square feet will one pound of grass seed cover, okay? So I'm going to rewrite this, and the numerator, I'm going to change it into an improper fraction, okay? So one and a half can be rewritten as three over two. So we still have pounds. And 375, I'm going to write that as a fraction. So any number, if we want to change it to a fraction, we just place it over one. So this is 375 over 1, and it's still feet squared, okay? Now, we need to break this down, and the way we break this down, remember, if you have a fraction over a fraction, we want to use the keep, change, flip concept. Now, different people teach it a different way or, or different ways. There's variations to this keep, change, flip concept, but what that says is that we keep the first fraction, okay? So we're going to keep the 3 over 2. We're going to change this fraction bar because fraction represents division. So we're going to change division to multiplication. All right? And then we're going to flip this second fraction or this denominator. Remember, the mathematical term for that is the reciprocal. So we're going to flip and take the reciprocal of the denominator. Okay? So now that we have that, all we have to do is just multiply the numerator times the numerator and the denominator times the denominator, all right? Now, so what we have is tree times one is tree, and then two times 375 is 750. This is still pounds, and this is still feet squared, all right? Now, that's an answer, but we wanna reduce it because we wanna get it down to where the we have one pound. So. 3 as well as 750 are both divisible by the number tree, okay? So if I take tree divided by tree, I get 1. So I have 1 pound, and then I have 250 feet squared, okay? So this is our solution. We have 1 pound, and that 1 pound is going to cover 250 uh, square feet. Notice it's still written as a ratio like we started out, but the difference is, is this now is the ratio that we're looking for. We call this a unit ratio because it's telling us for one pound, we can cover 250 square feet, all right? Now, remember, in this case, there's different variations of how we can solve this. We don't specifically want to set up a proportion just yet, but we are actually doing the same thing. It's just a different method. So. We're keeping it as a ratio, but if you notice, we still had to use some different concepts to arrive at our destination. So once again, we have the answer to our solution. We can cover 250 square feet, and it's also a unit rate. Now, do me a favor. If this video was helpful to you, go ahead and click that thumbs up at the bottom and like the video. Also, I appreciate your comments, your feedback. Please make a comment under the in the comment section of the YouTube video. Also, do me a big favor and go to Facebook.com and like my page, Young Gurus Math Tutoring. Also, you can find me on Instagram, YG Math Tutoring. And last but not least, I want you to share this page on YouTube with your friends. Like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate your support. And once again, Young Gurus Math Tutoring, I've got the solution to your math problems.